You could hear it ringing when I answered the phone. When I when I cut the phone on and I answered it, and it was ringing my neighbor Wesley Cox from my number. Hello. 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 Who is this? Wait a minute. Now, this is huh? Wesley Cox. The what? This is James Berry. Who? This is James Berry. James Berry. I don't know who you are. Wesley Cox. Huh? One night it rang at about 10 o'clock, and I, I answered it. I was already in the bed, what? but I got a phone beside my bed, and I answered it. And it, it well, started who are you? It just James Berry. James Berry? This is James Berry. James Dooley? James Berry. James Berry? Berry, B-E-R-R-Y. Yep. Okay. What's the matter? James, what can I do with you? I'm, my, my wife uh, has, already, has passed away. You know, I'm here by myself. You what? You know, I'm here by myself. I'm, my... My wife has already has passed away. Yeah, I know it. Well, how are you doing? I've I'm been getting these you. calls from this uh, number that it rings and rings. If you answer it, it'll ring somebody else. They've been, they've been harassing me for 30 months. Calling me son of a bitch and everything else. I'm... I'm sorry. I don't but know where that bunch come from. Here. Where are you in Morganton? I'm Wesley Cox. Well, I, I have, you know, I have not been calling in. And oh, uh, wait a minute now. This is Wesley Cox. Yeah, this is. I live right up here above you. You, you. I don't know who has, and as far as I know, nobody has from this number. I'm, I'm Wesley Cox. I'm, other, other words are you, James Berry. Wesley Cox. James Berry. Huh? Yep. You James Berry? James Berry. Wesley James Cox. James Dooley? Well, James Dooley's been dead. Berry, B-E-R-R-Y. James Berry. Well, where is James Berry live? This is James Berry. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm my. You go. You my don't wife even know what always, you're talking about. Where are you in Morganton? Wesley Cox. My neighbor. Hello. Hello. This is James Berry. Wesley. Uh. Hello. Do what? This is James Berry. Wesley. Say you James Dooley. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have not been calling you. Say you done what? Wesley Cox. This is James Berry. Yeah. My neighbor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you my neighbor if you James Berry. I'm my... You know, I'm here by myself. I don't know who has been calling you, but it's not from this number. I don't know, sir, in my life, but I've been getting oh, an old call. I know damn well it is, James B. I've been getting these old calls for three months. Well, I, I have, you know, I have not been calling in. And no, as far as I know, nobody's been in on my phone using it. The one I got called from, you know, they called me about a week ago, what twice did he, in one night. Did he curse you out? And did he curse you out when they called you? From, you know, uh, they called me about a week ago, twice in one night. And and when I picked it up and answered the phone, it started ringing my neighbor. Ringing your neighbor? Wesley Cox. They, they, yep. they called me a while ago, early in the night, and when I answered, they went to ringing another phone. 
I've been listening. getting these calls from this uh, number that it rings and rings. If you answer it, it rings somebody else. Yeah, I don't know half where that crowd come from. They've been a calling me for three months. Well, and I call mean, me I'm a Yankee sorry. in there. Call me son of a bitch, and I don't know what else. I'm I told him he's a coward, son of a bitch. I ain't come and show me his face. And the, the law come up here and said somebody's life alert went out. I told him I didn't have no life alert. Who, who is? Uh, the sheriff come up here by two or three different times. They've been harassing me for 30 minutes. One night it rang at about 10 o'clock. And I, I answered it. I was already in the bed, but I got a phone beside my bed, and I answered it. And it, yeah. it started ringing. It just, you could hear it ringing when I answered the phone. When I, when I cut the phone on and I answered it, and it was ringing well, my name. Well, you got a gun right out. there. We didn't shoot him to come in there on you. Yeah. I got, no. I got a pistol and a shotgun both loaded. And the shirt. The sheriff came up here about a month ago when uh, they said a life alert went out. And I got, I sat there, I got so many calls, I sat there with my pistol in my hand. <laughs> and the sheriff came in, early uh, next sheriff in after I saw it was the sheriff. And he said, let me see your gun. I said, damn, if you get my gun. I told the sheriff, and uh, he said, well, lay it down so I can talk to you. I laid it down beside of me, and, and then that older sheriff came in. He said, I don't blame you. And then another okay. time, the life, they claim a life alert went off, and I ain't even got a life alert. Okay. The sheriff come back again. <laughs> and I had a double bar shotgun sitting there and a pistol too. And uh, they said, I don't blame you, please. Said, please don't kill one of us. <laughs> okay. I said, you sure, better not, you sure better let me know who you are. I'll blow the door out in your face. I don't have anybody I here. Open, I ain't opening no door. I'm going to shoot through the door if they don't tell me something right quick. I don't have anybody here. You know, I'm here by myself. I'm my, uh, I know. my wife. But you got a gun there. Way. No. You got a gun close there by you? No. Huh? I don't have anybody here. No. Well, you got a pistol. Or you got a, a rifle, a shotgun. No. Huh? No. That's why I know you're there by yourself, but I'd keep a gun right close to me. And I'm just a... Uh, huh? Well, I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I'm here by myself. I know it. I won't, won't nobody stay with you, none of your family. No, I don't have anybody here. Well, I swear, I swear you better keep a gun there ready to shoot somebody. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. I've I'm been getting these you. calls from this uh, number that it rings and rings. If you answer it, it'll ring somebody else. I don't know who has been calling you, but it's not from this number. Oh, they, they'll, they'll do that. They'll, uh, they called me the early part of the night tonight and then went to ring in another number and I hung up on them. Well, I, I cut it I, off. Well, I, I have, you know, I have not been calling in. And no, as far as I know, nobody's been in on my phone using it. I mean, somebody else might have this same number. I don't, don't think so, but it. Yeah, that's that darn crazy bunch of, 
They called Charles Rams and cussed him out. And who, they called me is? and cussed me out. Who, who is? But, but they, won't, they won't tell who they are. Who, who and is? And I told the sheriff to find out who they are, and they ain't got no sheriff worth of there. I didn't track it down. Who, who is? I said, they cussed they cuss Charles Ramsey out. When he go to church with us up there at Zion. Okay. Just Charles Ramsey out this way to cuss of me. Okay. But you keep a gun there if nobody don't stay with you. Yep. Okay. Steve Whistnett knows me. Who? And Steve Whistnett knows me. Huh? Okay. Well, call the sheriff then. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, I'm here by myself. I'm my. I, I know my you're there by yourself. You need a gun right there. I'm my. Call, my wife call is always as fast as me. I ain't got a fucking. If I could get down there in time, then I'm forward and I'd shoot them up to the Western Way. Where are you, in Morganton? James, you know who I live up here on the hill. I don't know who. Where's the... Huh? Where's huh? the Cox? Oh, wait a minute now. Yeah. This is Wesley Cox. Yeah, it's Wesley Cox. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have not been calling you. I know you've not been calling. And I'm just, uh, well, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I, my, Keep my your gun there. Really go you know, I'm here by myself. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, I mean...